Hi everyone and thanks for joining me. Today I'll be showing you how I digitize this embroidery file in the Chroma Lux software and how I embroidered it on this cute little robe for Evie. Let's get started. So here we are in the Chroma software. I'm using Chroma Lux. That's the very highest tier of the Chroma software. However, Chroma Inspire comes free with the purchase of the Recoma EM1010 and I believe it comes free with the uh, 1501, the MT1501. But everything that I'm going to do in this video, you can do with the free version of Chroma Inspire. So I'm going to be using just some regular fonts from my computer. We're going to digitize those. I'm going to walk you through it. Now, keep in mind, I'm very new to digitizing and I'm sure there are probably better ways to do it and easier ways to do it. And I don't know. I'm going to show you how I do it and what works for me. And I've been really happy with the results. So you're welcome to follow along. So the first thing we're going to do is grab the text tool and you do that just by clicking on this T right over here on the side and then I'm going to click down on my canvas. That's going to open up this text box over here on the right and in this box the first thing I'm going to do is type the name Evie. That's the first thing we're going to digitize. Now I want to use a true type font that's on my computer so I've already picked one and I'm just going to click this little box TT, that's true type, that's for any font that's a true type font that lives on your computer, you can use that. And I'm going to click right up here in this box where it has the name, and that's going to open up this font box. And I can, again, use any font that's on my computer. The one I'm looking for is Casey Lego House, and I will try to remember to link this in the description below the video if you're interested in this one. And I'm just going to click OK. So now you can see the name Evie. Let me scroll up here or zoom up. You can see the name Evie has changed to this KC Lego or KG Lego house. So I want the name to be 2.5 inches. So in the height box, I'm going to type 2.5. Quick edit, I changed the name to 1.5 inches. The 2.5 was too big for the robe and I'm just going to tab through. I can change anything here. If you had multiple lines of text, you could change the width between the text. You can change the kind of stitching that you're going to do. Um, you can change any of this. I'm just going to leave all of that as is for now and click apply. So there it is. Now, if you don't see the 3D view, all you have to do is click this little box right here it looks like a little um, child's block or something. That's the 3D box. 3D box. So if you don't see it in 3D, just click on that and you can see it. Now I want to make a couple of changes. I'm going to go over here to the next tab right here that says fill. And I'm just going to change that density to 0.35 and click apply. Perfect. Now one more thing I want to do is put this in the center of my hoop. So I'm just going to click on this last tab here and I'm going to change the Y position to zero and I'm going to change the X position to zero. And that's going to put it on the center of the uh, design canvas in the center of my hoop. I'm going to click apply. And you can see it moved it right over there. So now I want to put a letter, a big letter behind Evie's name and I'm going to use another text. So I'm going to type on the text tool again, click down on the canvas, and that opens that text box again. And again, I'm going to use a true type font. So I'm going to click on that TT, and then I'm going to click on the name of the font. And I am going to use Lauren script this time. Oops, Lauren script right there. And I'm going to click OK. And then I need to change my text. I want an E for Evie. And I want the height this time to be five inches. I'm going to click apply. And again, I change the size from five inches to 3.5 inches. So you can see there is the E. Now let's change this to a different color just so that we can keep track of it. So I can go down here and I can pick any color. It doesn't really matter. I'll just click on this pink and I'm going to right click on it. And that changes it to pink. Now this is a satin stitch and each one of these boxes is an inch. So you can see this is a really wide satin stitch. It's almost over a half an inch. So that's not great because those threads can get stuck on things. And since this is going to be a robe, it might be 
washed a lot and we don't want those threads to come loose. So what we're going to do is click over here on, I believe it's the this tab. And let me see what it's called if you hover over it, the column tab. So if you click on the column tab, there is right here, it says split satin type. And it's by default set to none. So that means it's just going to be a solid satin stitch. I wanna split that. So I'm gonna split it right in half and I'm gonna click percent. And then I'm gonna type 50. So I want it split in half 50% and watch what happens. There you can see it is now split that satin stitch. So that looks good to me. You might not like that. Um, you can see this is a little bit different, but I don't. I really don't mind it. This is going to set behind Evie's name. So let me scroll over here on the screen so we can get the center. And I'm gonna go to this E, and again, I'm gonna go to this last tab, and I'm gonna put zero in the Y and zero in the X, click apply, and that's gonna center that. So I want this E to stitch out behind her name. So I can click and drag and move it, or I can just come over here to the right, click on it, right click, click order, and to back. So that's how that's going to stitch out. So I'm ready to go ahead and save this design for my uh, machine. So all I'm going to do is click up here, go file, save as, and I'm gonna type this, EV robe. Now you want to save the one that says .rde. That will just save your working file. So that if you want to come back and make some changes to it, you can do that without having to redigitize it. So first I'm going to save that and I'm going to save that to, let's just save it to the desktop for, for right now. Oops. There we go. So we'll just save that to the desktop. And then I need to go back and save one for the machine. So I'm gonna click it again, file, save as. And I've got EB robe. I'm gonna back out the RDE and I'm gonna type DST, which is what I need for my machine. If you're using the Chroma software for another machine, you can save it in multiple, multiple formats. You can save it in a PES, you can save it in a JEF, you can save it in XXX. You have lots of options. So it's not just for the Rokoma machines. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. I'm gonna take it over to the machine and I'm gonna let you watch it stitch out. And there you have it. I think it turned out so cute. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, I'm very new to digitizing. I did change those sizes. So the name is actually 1.5 inches and the letter E is 3.5 inches. I will have everything linked in the description below the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click that bell so that you're notified every time there's a new video. Thanks so much for watching and as always, never stop making. See ya, bye-bye.